Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we had a fantastic question on one of our earlier videos. Somebody wanted to have a vertical menu bar on their home page and then have a horizontal one on all the other pages. And they weren't sure how to do it. It's actually really easy. We've got a vertical one on here, as you can see, which is our home page. If I go to another page, We've got the same menu, but it's a horizontal one across the top here. If I go back, there we are. And this is really easy to do. We're gonna use the theme builder to do this today and also a bit of custom CSS code, but don't let that put you off. All we're gonna do is copy and paste some code. So let's get started. To do this today, we're gonna to need to use the Divi theme builder. So let's go to the dashboard, down to Divi and down to theme builder. It's going to take us to this page. So here's a little header that I've created for our home page there. I'm going to simply go and trash it. If I save the changes now and refresh the home page, this vertical sidebar will disappear and we'll have one on top, which is the generic default header. And there we have it right there. Great. So let's start building our custom header. Now we don't want a global header because that's gonna put it on every page. We want a custom header and we just want it for a specific page uh, for whatever it is you're using for your home page. Let's go up here to the little cog just above it. And I wanna say use on specific pages. I've already got it checked. And then go down to the page that you wanna actually use. Mine is actually called on twos because I built it on a Tuesday, I imagine. So we're assigning this to a specific page, that specific page right there. You can add it to more than one if you want to, but we just want it on the home page, which is that one today. So let's save our changes here. We'll add a custom header. I'm going to hit build custom header. And here we are by default, it puts in a little section for us with no columns. Now I'm going to make this section the actual width that I want it. I'm going to start off at perhaps 300. So to do that, I'm going to go in here. And just so you can see what's going on, I'll give it a quick background color. Just give it a background blue there. There we go. You can see what's going on. So I'm now going to go to design. I'm going to go down to sizing. I'm going to say I'm going to have mine 300 pixels wide. Now it's put in a percentage, so I need to delete that and just put PX for pixels in there. And as you can see, it's shrunk it down. Height wise, I want it to go all the way down to the bottom. So I'm gonna give it in the height, 100 viewable height. So that's 100 VH. So whatever screen they're viewing on, it'll be 100% of the height. Great. Well, now we need to add our menu. Of course, I want my logo at the top, then I want a little menu. So let's save this. We'll go in there. I'm gonna use a single column, single row. And inside, I'm going to put my logo. So I'm just going to use an image module for this and pop my logo in there. I want a sort of light version of it. There's one right there. And let's upload that one. There it is right there. I want to take that down a little bit in size. I'm going to go to design, sizing. And let's take it down to something like that. Whatever it is you prefer to have yours. And I want it to be in the middle. Great, and I want it to link to our home page. So you simply put your home page link in there, which is the URL for the site, basically. Great, so that's the first bit done. Now underneath that, I want a little menu. So I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna hit a little dark circle with a plus sign to add a new module. I'm gonna use a menu module. Here's the menu. And the menu I need today is vertical right there. And there it is. Now to me, that doesn't look particularly good. I mean, it'll work and everything like that, but really I want them stacked on top of each other. So it looks a little more coherent. Now to do that, I'm gonna steal a bit of code from the Elegant Themes site. I'll put this link down below. I'll also put this code down below for anybody that wants to use it. About halfway down this page, you'll find this code here. They've actually built one for us. 
just grab this. That's a little more complex if you look at this page. You can download this from their side if you just want to download one, but I'm doing mine pretty much from scratch. I'm just stealing their code that's going to make our menu vertical here. So if you want to look through this article, there's some different options for you there. But they've got all the CSS code written, so I'm going to steal it and use it on our site. To do that, I need to add a little code module down here. Now I've copied the CSS from this site over here, or below this video if you want to, because I'll put it there. So I'm going to add another new module. Just hit the little plus one more time. This time I'm going to use a code module. And inside, I'm going to open and close some style tags because this is CSS. So it's left pointy bracket, the word style, and right pointy bracket. Once you put the right one in, it'll put a closing style tag in for you. Now in between those two, we can paste that CSS code that we just copied. And there it is. And they're using a class of ET vertical menu. So I'm going to copy that class and we'll give that class to our menu up here. So let's save our code there. We'll go into the menu itself. Go over to the advanced CSS IDs and classes. It was a class, so I'm going to paste it in there. As you can see, once I've pasted it in there, it's put some nice spacing down there for us. Now, if you wanted to, you could take away the background color there and change the text. So if we go over to content, we've got background down here. It's got a white as default. You can take it away. And you can change the text colors by going to design, menu text, active link and menu text color. I'm making those all white, which will work for me. And of course you can change the font to whatever you want here. They've got a huge amount of fonts to audition one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. I'm going to leave mine on the default. And of course you can capitalize, italicize, strike through, underline, upper and lower case, however you want to do it. I'm going to leave mine just like that, but I will give it a slight background color. So let's go back to our content there. And in the background, I'm going to give mine a black, but I'm going to take some of the opacity away so we can see a bit of the blue behind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this menu bar a little more interesting in a minute by adding a, an image behind there and perhaps a pattern also. So I'm going to have the opacity down about 50% so we can see what's going through it. Now you may want to make yours a little bit smaller than this. I mean, I'm using 300 picks and actually the reason I'm using 300 picks is because that's what they've given in the CSS. Now in the back end here, you might not see that CSS coding tab, but it's right here. If you have trouble getting to it, just hit the little purple button down to wireframe mode. And there it is in wireframe mode. There's a little code we can go in there. Now the reason I've got my 300 down there, if I roll all the way to the bottom of here, is that's what they've got set over here. So I'm going to change mine perhaps to 240. I'm doing it right there in the width calc and I'm doing it in the margin left as well. Now what I can do once I save this, I can shrink this down a little bit to 240 if I want to. So if we go into the section, the blue tab at the top, over to design and sizing, here's a width. Let's make that maybe 240. There, that's going to work for me. And the reason I'm doing that is you've got to do it in both because if you don't, you'll have a gap here for, from when the page actually starts. You'll have a white gap before the page content start there because it was set to 300. Okay, well, let's just pop this up a little bit higher. Let's go into my design again. We'll close up sizing. We'll go into spacing. Let's take any padding off the top by putting a zero on there. That's probably about right. I think I'd like a bit more gap below my image there on my menu, but we can sort that out in a moment. But while we're in the section, let's make that background a little more interesting. I'm going to go to background. We've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern, and background mask. Let's add an image and we'll blend these also. 
which is at that sort of burning wood ember image. As you can see, it's right there. And you might think, well, the colors disappeared, but we can blend it. If we roll down below the image, we've got background image blend here. And there's some great ones to choose from here. Just click on those, you can get some fantastic effects. One I want to use today is actually multiply. That's going to work for me. And let's perhaps add a pattern over the top of that. So let's go background pattern. It's polka dots, you can't see them at the moment. If I make them white there, you can see them. I'm not sure I want polka dots, so I'm going to click on those. And let's perhaps add a little grid. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Custom size. Now I'm going to bring this up. I want it kind of, kind of small like that. That's fine. Don't want it quite as vivid, so I'm just going to click on the color and take the opacity down a bit. So it merges into the background a little bit more. There we go, something like that. So it's there, but it's not too over the top. Okay, well, we're almost there now. Let's save our changes. I'm gonna bring this menu just down slightly. So there's a bit more of a gap between the image and the menu there. And perhaps I might bring that black color up a little bit. So let's go in there. I'm gonna to go to the design tab down to spacing and let's give it a bit of margin on the top let's try maybe 30 pixels just put in the 30 it'll put in a px for you yeah spacing wise that's going to work for me well, i think i'll have that black color even a bit darker so in the content down to background here's our color just click on the field let's bring that opacity slider up just a little bit that stands out a little bit nicer there Fantastic. Well, I'm happy with that. So let's save our changes here. Great. And the last thing we need to do here is actually make this fixed position so it stays in the top left at all times. So to do that, we'll go into the section, the blue tab at the top here. We'll go over to Advanced and Position. And here we can change it from Relative to Fixed. And I want it in the top left, which is exactly where it is. I don't want any offset. I want it right in the top left corner there. Wait, let's save our changes now. If your button's expanded, just hit the save. If not, hit the little purple button and then hit save at the bottom here. Let's X out at the top. Make sure all of our changes are saved. Now, if we go and visit the site, we've got our home page here with our little vertical nav that's going to stay there. We've adjusted it to 220, so we've got no gap there, which is great. If we look at another page, we've got the regular horizontal bar up there. And if we go back, we've got our vertical one. So there you go, guys. There, there's how to add a vertical nav bar to your home page or any page that you particularly want on your site using the Divi Builder. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, I'll put the CSS code on its own down below. And I'll also put the link to this page. If you want to download the version that they've built here, you can do so on this page. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, put them down below. I'll do my best to answer them or do a little video for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.